Which is blind dating seven guys based on it. This is teen edition, bro. Oh no. This ain't gonna be good. Teen editions. How... Why are you dating at that age anyway? My name is Sophie. I'm 17. 17 years old and I'm really into fashion. I have a Depop Yo, and I'm going to be selling at a flea market soon. I've gone on a few dates, but I'm kind of interested in maybe seeking like a deeper connection more than just like a hookup or something. Bigger, you are 17, bro. You are se like... Deeper connection, man. What? <laughs> Shout out their adults, bro. Ooh, okay. I've never really seen yellow shoes before, if I'm gonna be honest. I kind of like them though. I see Converse, Nike. Ooh, I, oh, are those black platform? I like those. And then the red. I really love the, are those New Balances on the ends? Yeah. I love those. Ooh. Number one, okay. what would be your yeah, ideal no, first though, date? Balances, Definitely like a nice Hello, dinner weird. and I'll pay of course. Uh, at like a nice Italian restaurant, I love Italian food. And then after that, we could like go to the beach or something and just like chill out there, talk, you know, just get to know each other some more. Hmm, okay, okay. I love dinner, I love Italian food. Number two? Probably my first ideal date is something that's like an activity, you know, something where we can actually have fun while also talking. So like mini golf or I don't know, go to like okay. Dave and Buster's or something like that. Something that's fun, but you know, we can, we can have a good time. Right now, awesome, um, next? I kind of live near like and H Mart, if you know what that is. Yeah, I and love H Mart. I think go to H Mart kimchi. and then like grab snacks, probably what like picnic, kimchi, maybe. Jack, and what is kimchi? I've always wondered what the fuck kimchi is. Is it like, is it like sushi or some shit? Kimchi. Then like stroll around like K Town or like a city. And then I'm like a really impromptu person. So I like see something, I'm like, oh, let's go. We have to go. Love that. It's probably like a fair. You know, summer, someplace fun, lots of food, lots of rides, and at the same time, we can get to know each other. Cool. Um, five? Going to like an art museum. What or the fuck is he wearing? I've never get these people that wear them like fat, like, they're not even army beats, boots or anything. They're like, they're just like. Wait, chat. They're just really like fat, bulky boots, bro. I've never got that art exhibit and then we can go grab some food and maybe like eat outside in like a garden or something that sounds cool Ooh, i like that i feel like an ideal first day will kind of be like an amusement park as well somewhere where we can you know just have fun together and have your adrenaline pumping awesome man, it's man, always man, fun to explore dream, downtown bro. places to see different man, dream, buildings and whatnot and then like a picnic or thrifting not because you said thrifting just like i like thrifting so cool, love that. Elimination. Okay. Mm. Well, I'm saying, the black, the this is really hard spreader. for me, but I would say just because like I'm not a big amusement park, and this is just me. That's I good, hate roller coasters <laughs> like so much. Oh, I have the biggest room roller coasters, so just for that, I'm gonna eliminate number no four roller rooms. coasters or amusement park, and then six. Was that also the amusement park one? <laughs> Hi, I'm Kyle. Hi, I'm Sophie. Nice to meet you. I like the pants. Thank you. I love your pants. Thank Thrifted. you. My mom got me these. So. I love them. They're awesome. Just decided to throw them on. It's nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too. Sorry about that. And then six. Hi, I'm Hi. Sophie. I'm Trevor. Oh, sorry. Oh. Okay. Oh, <laughs> my, my bad. I'm a hot dog too. Okay. I love your outfit. Holy fuck, man. What the fuck is yo? Hi, I'm Hi. Sophie. I'm Trevor. Oh, sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> why is he? Why? Why does he seem like confused? Why does he seem confused? Why she went in for the handshake? The brother was literally gonna handshake her. He didn't. He didn't make it obvious that he was gonna. He was gonna like cuddle her. Not cuddle her. I mean, like, you know, like a hug. I'll go for a handshake. My, my bad. I'll hug too. Okay. 
I love your outfit. Thank you. I love the colors. The color coordination is awesome. Yeah, you look really nice too. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Holy oh, fuck, that was bad. I'm gonna lie, that one was bad, Jeff. Ooh. Down okay. That was bad. I like the first pants. I kind of like like the paint splatter. I think that's cool. Ooh, are those like leather? I can't tell. Like some sort of like reflective. Yo, that was bad, man. What I did. Um, last one's baggy. Love. <laughs> the first pair. Where did you get those from? Oh, they're from Minimal. I mm -hmm. get most of my pants from there. So yeah. Is that like a online website? Or? Yeah, they're online. Yeah. Awesome. I want to know who was your top artist on Spotify Wrapped last year? Oh, Number no. one. I like R&B, I like like Brent Faze, Travis okay. Scott, Drake. Awesome. Number two. I have that's a just, really weird basic. music taste. Um, okay. Main thing I listen to is like video game orchestra music, like on a regular, but I holy, listen to kind of- Holy, okay. I don't know, I don't get, I don't get these type of niggas, but. I don't, yo. I don't get them people that do that somehow. How are you like, how do you listen to that though? I'm always questioning people that are able to listen to that type of shit. Bro, why is Bitcoin so low right now? Well. Everything at the same time. Um, I'm from the Bay, and my number one artist was Keshi. Um, I like The Weeknd, okay, we um, like Warren Hughes. I just Keshi? like, I'm really diverse. I swear I'm not just a Keshi fan. <laughs> Yo, no, I like that. that. That's, a, that's a big <laughs> horizon of music. Generally, I kind of like alternative music and like kind of chill music. So some stuff I listen to is like Cigarettes After Sex and been, Beach House. How was your, I like how was The Weeknd or Mitski or Lana Del Rey. Lana Del Rey, love. What are your guys' hobbies? What do you do in your free time? So I do like my good, fashion man. content creation on my uh, Instagram. Cheap, TikTok mostly. Uh, I play basketball a little bit. Right. I like playing video games, but it's yeah. mostly my content creation, thinking of ideas. Get? Did you get anything? That's yeah. awesome. I love that. Uh, I want to go into college for neuroscience, so I'm just really focused at uh, school right now. And I also do a bunch of acting. We just finished a play called She Kills Monsters. I actually got my appendix out like last week, and I couldn't do the. Oh. It was like the day oh, no. of the show. Is that the Dungeons and Dragons? Yeah, yeah, it was. I literally my school just had that. No so way. We, I just watched. It was really yeah. funny. I was like really unhinged. I was the the Miles the boyfriend. Nothing. Oh my god, yeah, I know exactly. Yeah, That's yeah, funny. Yeah. I guess I like watching a lot of YouTube, Netflix. I used to play badminton with my friends, but then what? my racket broke. Oh, back? Oh, badminton. Yeah. Badminton is a good sport. But I like going on drives and like, I like finding like new places, like new cafes. Because Some of these guys are weird, why. man. They have very feel, weird like, interests. Really Mm -hmm. and, yeah. That's awesome. I'm a filmmaker, so I really like filming. Yeah. I also compose music. I play the piano and like do art. But I also really like to cook and kind of just like Yo, explore. I wish I could cook at 17. That's man. awesome. Creativity 17. is like cooking. a really big passion of mine. Mm -hmm. So I like, like number five says, I, wish I, could I cook, like making man. films a lot. I, I also to love acting, chef, drawing, man. just anything that piques my creativity, I try to do it. Okay. Awesome. Yo, she said she she looks bored, bruv. Why is she even here? She looks bored. Look at her, look at look at her face right now. I'm bothered as fuck. Like I don't know. That's awesome. Creativity is like a really big passion of mine. <laughs> so she does I not like, care. Like number five said, I like making films a lot. I also love acting, drawing, just anything that piques my creativity. I try to do boy, it. Bruv. Awesome. Look, look at that. Oh my god. <laughs> But I'm gonna be honest, I really like number one's pants. I think they're really cool. And then definitely like the last two are also awesome. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Um, number three. Okay. Number three. Uh, I'm Terrence. I'm so feeling it. Oh, yeah. Bro, why does she keep going in for the handshake though? <laughs> like, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. She like makes it awkward like. <laughs> I'm Terrence. I'm so confused. Look! Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I like your outfit. It's cute. She does it to Thank herself. Yeah, I like your outfit too. Thank she you. does it to her. That's it's like the awesome. third person she's done that shit to now. Um. Oh, you do? Oh. I think I'm gonna go with two just because of the skinny jeans, but that's like fully it. Like yeah, I, looks I loved the She Kills Monster thing. I don't, I think I don't that was awesome. the shoes either, man. Them shoes are. Hi, Hi I'm, I'm Luke. Sophie. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I like love your fit. I love your outfit. Thank, thank you. you. Hey, she didn't do it that time. Apple Watch is awesome. I, I want yes. an Apple Watch. Thank you. It's got a long neck, man.
Ooh, wow. I love the. I can't lie. This guy's fit is cold. <laughs> Yo, all the this man's here. <laughs> bits. I feel like they all. Yo, all he's the decked out right the now. Accessories kind of tie in. Like, and this guy. The jewelry on number one is awesome. I love the rings that you have. The bag at the bro, end is bro, awesome. Bro, like, you get me that, that blade, brother. Together. I guess for number one, what? Ooh, how leather. would you say that your is style that even is kind of like developed and like how you manifested that? You know, my mom has always been like into fashion she was a model she had her own company at one point so Damn. like fashion's always just been in my life so like i like streetwear i like casual looks you know i feel like i'm a hybrid mostly would you say that you like want right to now. go into that for your career kind of based off what you were saying earlier yeah definitely it's like the only interest i really have like fashion is just so important to me so like be modeling some okay. some acting you know just incorporate it into everything that i do yeah i love that that's awesome for fashion like how you dress like who is your biggest influence I don't really have a person as much rather than like like a genre. I've been really into vintage French brands. Like I'm wearing a, I don't know how to pronounce it. I think it's like Cope Copine, mm -hmm. but vintage French has always been my inspiration. Okay. Okay. That's fine. So like the outfit I'm wearing now, I feel like I'd wear it to like, like a party or something. Um, I'm really inspired yeah, like, by my sister. Like She's like I'll a really cool figure shit. in my life. She's been really into fashion and has dressed me like when I was really little. So I kind of just learned from her. I feel like I have two sides of my fashion. The other one is kind of a little bit more traditional, but I really like to have fun and like express myself through how I dress. Yeah, I love that. Those how do you like express your creativity fun, outside of fashion? I really like cooking and that's always been like something that's yeah. been really fun for me. I like okay. have a film camera, so I've kind of brought that around with me a lot. <laughs> uh, I've, I've <laughs> I used to have like a slime Instagram account when I was younger. What the so fuck? I've always kind of just like grown on that. Uh, I made like a YouTube channel. So I've always kind of had fun with like photography and I've kind of been able to like capture what I want. That's cool. So my fashion used to be like really bad because my mom used to dress me. So <laughs> last year I went thrifting and I finally found like, all right, I like baggy. I've never went thrifting. I like my dad, New Balance shoes. Yeah, yeah. Are you more of like, uh, laid back person or let's go try and do something. For me personally, I'm always like very impromptu, but at the same time, I'm also the type of person that will lay in my bed for like two days straight if I feel sad or something, so. No, nah, yeah. I couldn't. Uh, I guess just I couldn't. on the more I hate different side, bed, what would you say like you look for, for, for in a person, straight, right? number one, like. I just need good morals because I'm a, I learned from my parents to have good morals, so I need someone that matches my morals and you know, no I love OF, fashion is no also OF. a very big part 18, if you no can dress, OF. that's a nice huge plus. <laughs> but I never look at looks, I mostly look at how that's they cat. act towards different situations, you know. If we click, we click, it doesn't really matter to me. No, Daniel no. I'm kind of looking for somebody bro. who's really like kind and compassionate, Make OF but like also really likes 18. to have fun and do and like try new things. I just like want a relationship where it feels like we're like best friends, you know. Bro, why are they talking, why are they all talking like adults, bro? This is, they're, they're, se they're all 17, man. I think they're all 17. They're all around that age bracket. Why are they talking like they need like a, like a, like some intense, deep relationship at that age, like? You know, and we can like, you know, have that silence without it being awkward and that we yeah. always don't need to have fun, but we can have quiet moments uh, and loud moments. moments. I kind of look more into personality I think it's trying to find someone that has my same personality. Not not like the same, just like chill and not someone that's like dry. Like even even when you're texting and they're like super dry. Yeah. It's like like what do you want me to do? Like I like to take risks, so like just risk taking I hate whatever that you. would entail to I you. Hate yeah, I think mean, that's good. Do you, do you would you say like overall you've always gone more for personality? It's definitely a mix of both, but normally I'm like what people think when they say that, you know, like they're ugly or whatever and they have like a big nose, I'm like it doesn't like I don't care cuz like different facial features suit different people. Yeah, I think a lot of people like are insecure about something on them, but I think beauty is like so subjective and I think I disagree. Yeah. If it's you great see to, like, one see long nose, bro, go with one long nose. That does not suit no face, bro. I don't like yo. Long nose, bro, like some Pinocchio I would just say fashion. number 3, but honestly, I love all of your guys' outfits and I think you guys all have amazing personalities. Nah, I don't get number Hi. three. Hello. I'm Sophie. I'm Alex. I love your outfit. Oh, hair is not, yo. So Thank you. Well, oh, it was nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too. <laughs> Honestly, I think fashion is comfortable in sense of mindset and comfortable in sense of I don't know about the hair, bro. feeling physically. You like think for a sec. Hmm. 
Honestly, it's a tie for me right He's now. Gonna, so is she gonna, she gonna keep like, number one? Yeah, she gonna keep number one? Okay. Watch. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go kind of nitty gritty. What's your biggest red flag? Like, be honest. That's I'm gonna not, go there. That's, that's like this. <laughs> oh, I definitely say biggest red flag is if they don't take care of themselves. Hygiene. That's that's something very important to me. You know, like you got to be able to be clean because you know I do the same. I agree with that. I would say people who are mean to their parents is like a pretty big red flag to me. Like spoiled. Yeah, but also people who are just like really like ungrateful for their parents or just mm. like have a really bad relationship with them. Okay. I agree with that. I think that's, that's they a do a lot one. for us. Good, mm -hmm. two good answers okay. though. Okay. Which one is she gonna pick? I'm saying, I'm saying like, she's gonna really, pick two just, to go I'll out. Just go for it. Two to go out. Fuck it. Um, I think. Number two. I told you. Yeah, I told you. Hi, I'm Winston. I'm so it's on the drippiest nice to meet you. I love the outfit. So I love cool. your outfit too. I love like the coordination. Thank you. It's awesome. All right, bye. Nice meeting you. Damn, they were looking so cool, with like the what boots, you can do bro. with textures they're, they're, and they're wearing the same and shapes and styles. Black it's boots. really like endless, like the possibilities. I actually have worn this outfit before for homecoming, and the theme was 80s. So they didn't say what decade or what century. So I went as 2080. Okay. Are they all straight? So Hi. I think there's a couple of people that are there. Joaquin. Nice to meet you. Oh, love your outfit. Okay. You I love your outfit too. Appreciate it. Thank you. Awesome. I love the corset. That's so tough. Thank you. I, tough. Do you want to know how much I paid for it? How much? Guess. 10. 50. 10. 10. More? 150. What? Dang. She's I mean, good on you, so I mean, it's worth it. Thank you. Yeah. Definitely a splurge. 150 for that. I believe. 150 for that, and you're 17, and you're spending 150 on a on a course. Holy fuck, man! Yo, I wish I had that amount of money. I f yo, <laughs> even splurging in fashion. Exactly. Yeah. See, if it looks good, it looks good. You know, no matter the price, it doesn't matter. Yeah. I'm. I mean, I feel good. I mean, she's really pretty. So I mean, I'm just. I'm happy with her decision of choosing me. You know what I mean? So yeah. I was really stressed yeah. out, but I'm like, I'm happy. Yeah, I, your style is awesome, Thank and you. you're really cute. Thank so, you. I'm happy with my decision. My styles evolved There's so no much. There's no way I'm... these men are 17, bro. <laughs> Yo, I did not act like this at 17. <laughs> Worn denim on denim. I mean, denim on denim still looks good, but I used to go Yo, denim on denim with people? crazy shoes, you know, but like I'm wearing they're, a lot more stuff now. I'm a lot nervous. more comfortable Wait, what? in what I'm wearing. Yeah, this, this is just, yeah, this is it right here. He's really sweet and I think he has really good like values and I think a lot of our values align. So I'm really happy with my pick. Yeah. What was your thing again? It was Italian food and a beach. I think we could like slightly modify it, could, but yeah, I could definitely it. could go off the Italian food because I, mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm allowed to say it, but like I'm a whore for Italian food. So I, I, lo I <laughs> yeah, love no, food. I love Italian food so much. Yeah. yeah. I just eat pizza. Actually, nah, tagliatelle. You might know about tagliatelle pasta. Ooh. And meatballs. That shit is here. Yeah.